Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I'm Eniko and this is like the fourth episode in a row that I'm recording. Also playing with trains, giving thoughts. Kill me. No, don't kill me. I like being alive. Um, bleh, 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 bleh. I'm like super eloquent right now. Can I build a bridge here? Yes, I can. That is amazing. So then this can cross this and then that's not going to connect. Oh, well, I just have to make it kind of gross. It's fine. Look at that. All better. So we're back at um, New Buttway, also Sanning Hall and Marfing Field. Seriously, I hate these names. Like, the only thing is New Buttway. That's the only good name in this entire series. Everything else is terrible. There's a um, bit more houses over here. There's a little bit less over here, but there's like a little churchy thingy there. So that's the thing. Also, the game has paused. How long was it like that? Since the start of recording. <clears throat> so, how you been? Oh, I did. Sorry, I had a thing come up, so I had to cut a bit out there. Um, what was I gonna say? Can't remember. Okay, so I was wondering why New Buttway, like over here. No, that's the road vehicle depot. No, that's still the depot. See, this takes fruit and alcohol and petrol and building materials, and I never understood why. Well, it turns out there's a hardware store and a grocer's shop in New Buttway. So if you want to have all of life's luxuries. You know, you know where to be. Um, yeah, no profit, no profit, no profit, no profit. Okay, so all the things that are important are still making profit. But we're not going to work on the um, new bot way. I just wanted to tell you that um, there's one train now that goes between Marfing Field and New Buttway Old Town Hall. Because there is so many people who um, are going between those two hubs that we need an extra train. Yeah. What we are going to do is we're going to work on Conway. Oh shit, I closed the viewport. Let's just do this then. I'm sure this is going to make nobody dizzy. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Munville. A bunch of muns in Munville. So yeah, Conway is actually looking quite decent in terms of growth. What I wanted to do is, this doesn't have... Uh, this doesn't have a grocer or anything. It has a white thing here. It's that building materials. Just, I can't find where it is. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we have a hardware store. Those are quite tricky to find. What I'm gonna do is... We have a lime kiln here, which can take stuff from these two sandbanks. And then this will make farming supplies. Yeah, this will make farming supplies and then we can chuck those into the fruit plantation, fund ourselves a grocer and take the fruit in the city. So that's what we're going to do today. What I'll probably do is extend the railway all the way up to Cardburn here. Now ideally, I would want this to be different as it were. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, maybe they won't hate me if I do this, but they probably will. So today's topic is um, something I didn't write down because I'm going to do that one after this one, I think. I'm going to tell you about what I did for like 10 to 15 years before I started making games in earnest. Or rather, starting to make games which could reasonably be finished. Yep, they hate me. See, this is why you don't do all that before you build your station. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can make you happy. Here, do you want trees? Have some bloody trees. Look at all those trees. Aren't you happy now? Well... I wouldn't call them happy, but they're less unhappy, I suppose. And then we can do this, which is good. Now we can also do... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. If, if I built, like, a railroad over here, then that would supply sand and stone. Which would actually be far better. So I'm gonna demolish this railway station again. Oh boy. I actually build this on here. Supply sand and stone. Nothing. Oh yeah, I am amazing. So then we can do this and we can also build a... Hmm. Where do I want this? Yeah, built that there, and then we can um, do this and build a thingy here and link it up to. I. <laughs> this is always what happens, and now I can't make any more trees. No, stop being bastards! Do I really need to bribe you? No, I can't bribe you. I just can't. Fine, you know what? I'm gonna give you this land back. And I'm gonna build some trees on it. Maybe that'll do better. <sighs> so yeah, what I um, I told you about my MMO playing experience, and back when I was playing Nexus, I think it was, um, I was already thinking of doing my own MMO, and they're still being bosses about everything ever. Okay, that's fine. See if I care. What if I like give them more land to build trees on? I don't think this is gonna work. Usually this works far better. But usually I also don't try and... Nope. They're just gonna be dicks about it. Okay, that works. What if I do... Ah, this is just so stupid. Can I build a tunnel? No, you can't build a water tunnel. That's quite unfortunate, that is. Uh, how is this... This all flat? 
No, it's not. Okay. Sometimes it's really hard to see how the land moves. Ugh, this is gonna take so much money. What do you mean? Can't build docks here. What if I do it like this? Okay, that works. Ha! Ah, I've spiked at the authorities once again. Okay, was just clearing my throat there. In case you're wondering, I think I've said this before, but I have asthma. So my throat is forever fucked up. That's the thing that happens. This looks a bit dumb, so we're gonna do it. Are you... Fine! God damn. But I don't like the way this looks, so I'm gonna do it differently. It's ruining my immersion. There we go. Oh, and now this doesn't connect. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Do you see how much that costs? It's ridiculous. Fortunately, I have a million dollars. So yeah, I was playing MMOs and I was like, yeah, how hard can it be to make my own MMO? It's a classic rookie mistake, but in my, um, in my defense, I was like 15, probably younger even. Oh my god, now we need to go all the way from here, all the way over there. That's going to be a bit of a of a pickle. Now we're gonna need to lower all of this. So yeah, um, I started working on making an MMO. And I worked on a lot of MMO prototypes. Some of them were even like sort of playable. Most of them weren't, but some of them. Do I want to go over here? Or can I go under? Hmm. Let's go under. Let's demolish this river. <laughs> I blow up the river. Because... No, 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 that's what you do. You blow up a river. Don't look at me. I didn't come up with this. And... Um, I learned a lot working on MMOs, honestly. Um, yeah, let's just shave this bit off. We could go around, and but like, there's no real reason to. Actually, let's just lower that as well. Then again, making straight lines is always better. Hmm. Well, I don't really need this to be a giant growth hub anyway, so I'll just do it this way. Yeah, and this was in the time, like, the before times. Before open source was a thing. And, like, I wanted to do text rendering in my game, and there was just no way to do it in Visual Basic. In DirectX. Like, you had to use an actual uh, sprite font which I wasn't fond of. So I used the Windows API and I even found some tutorial online that taught me how to do it. And it was terrible. Like every time I'd screw something up, which was all the time, I would get my entire system would just blow up in a horrible blue screen. And that's how I learned to code, basically. I made a lot of aborted MMOs for a very, very long time. Okay, so this is going... Where is this going? Am I taking it into Conway and then trucking it up to here? That's probably not a great idea. Hey, that's, that rhymes! Um, most of my MMO efforts are completely gone now. I don't even know what... Well, I have like local backups of some of them, but nothing that actually runs. So 
If you were hoping to have a look at that, that's never going to happen. But there were some good things out of doing all that. Like, I learned a lot of things. So we need to move these. We I mean, might as well move. Nah, let's just keep those there. Um, so we want to use these and these and um, those. Remove this and then lay that track. And then remove that signal and then lay the track. But yeah, like I, I know what people always say, like the thing not to do for your first project is to build an MMO and I did it for my first project and my second project and my third project. And so on and so forth. And I kind of got to agree. I never did finish one. And um, maybe I could now, but I'm quite a bit further on with where I was um, in game development than I used to be. Also, I don't have really have the time. But yeah, th that kind of thing can be very educational. I mean, there's a lot of, in an MMO, obviously, you need to figure out um, a very important skill for being an indie developer is how to best cut corners. Because you're going to need to make... Um, how is your profit so low? Did your plantation... No, it's not making less. No, I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe the transfer order is... Doing it. Eh, whatever. I don't care. What was I saying? Before I was so rudely interrupted by the game telling me gamey things. It's like, we're not here to game. Come on, be real. Always be real, kids. That's, um, that's my advice. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Actually, you don't keep it classy. Keeping it classy is like freaking boring. Why would you want to be boring? Nobody wants to be boring. Okay, so how do I do this? Ideally, I would just. Oh, I'm just gonna have to truck it. There is just no way I can do it differently. So we're gonna... Do we also want to have a passenger station here? Let's just start with the one station. Let's see if that's enough. And then we'll... Um, maybe put a pair of stations here. Then that road leads directly up to there. Yeah, because there's like networking and security and um, having a, a viable workflow. And then we'll just put one there. It's fine. Um, build a thingy. Is this? Oriented the right way? I mean, probably, but it's kind of kind of bit iffy. So yeah, there's a lot you can learn there, but obviously, like, and also performance, because you never know how many people are going to be on screen. So you wanted to perform decently at least, under most circumstances. Okay, so I can bring my shit up there. So I should start gathering my shit. Oh, we're at 20 minutes already. Jesus, I just don't have enough time in these episodes. I don't know how other people do it. I can really, really don't. I'll just put one here. Yeah, that's, that looks 
acceptable. So... Oh, we actually don't even need a ship to go from here to there, because it'll get supplied right to... right to the station. It's bloody amazing, that is. How much are you making? 72 tons of sand. We only want the stone, right? Yeah, we only want the stone. So honestly, if you want to start with an MMO, I mean, be aware that you're not going to finish, obviously. 72. Yeah, and then we're just going to buy two of these. Okay, so what I was saying about shared orders, if you hold shift when you do go to and then click on a... No, that's wrong. It's not shift, it's control. Then this turns into shared orders. Which is, um... It's good. So we want to transfer here. So now, whenever I change the orders on either of those ships, they will both have their orders changed. It's actually better to do two ships, because while if you have one ship and it's going back and forth, during the time it's in transit, you will lose cargo here, which could be loaded into the other ship, and also it will affect your ratings, which are going to be quite poor. So that's going to be 72 tons. And this is going to be 63 tons. So we want another thingy me bob. Thingy me bobber. Not that. I like the ones that I had before, but I is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so buy one of those, buy two of those actually. No, wait, shit. It's okay, you get the money back. So, let's see. Third generation. Hopper? Is it a hopper? Stone, yeah. It's 49 tons. So there's two, of, two for this. Yeah, two for that. And then... 49. Two for that and just one more. And then just clone this train. No. How do I clone? Clone train. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to give them shared orders. And press shift again instead of control because I am literally an idiot. Go here, full load. Um, where, where am I going? I go into there. Um, no, don't full load. Don't, don't load at all. Transfer, 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 transfer. Okay. Ooh, quite. Exhausting that is. Oh, and we shouldn't make them go non stop. That's important. Go away. So, speaking of non stop, I told you that it was going to add the implicit orders on this line automatically, and it did. So, you don't actually need to make that explicit. It's just going to fill them in on its own afterwards, anyway. Um, it was a bit of a failure on my part. I mean, I knew how to make decent games and I was just building tech for 15 years, which is kind of a goddamn waste. Okay, now we need a truck here. And I didn't honestly start, like, believing I could make games until, like, Ludum Dare where I made Midboss and people were, like, playing it because they wanted to play Midboss and not because, you know, they knew me and they were doing me a favour. And that's, um, a pretty good feeling. Refitable to lots of stuff except the stuff that I need. 
Hopefully this can actually pull into the station. Let's see if it can. Refit to stone. Go there. Nope. Can't go to that station. I don't understand this. Like, is there a station type that I'm just missing? Like, what if I do like this? Add it to Conway. And then... This is the same every goddamn time. Then it does work. Okay. I feel sceptical. I feel highly sceptical, in fact. Um, I don't think this is going to work, if I'm quite honest. But we'll give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Please don't answer. This is not going to work out, is it? interesting maybe the articulated things do stop at like a drive-through stop instead of only at the terminal stop that could be a thing I, I don't know let's just um I'll pause here and once we get some stuff I'll unpause it and then um take you back in and we'll see if it actually works okay okay see you in a bit okay we're back and apparently this is working now. I'm quite shocked. Maybe it's like because these have a bit of a downside. Like a terminus truck station, you can just... Yeah, it worked. It worked fine. Yeah, uh, 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 that's words. Words, use them. A terminals, terminus station, you can just stay there forever um, loading stuff. But here, you're blocking the road if you if you stayed loading there, so that's not good. So what if I do it, like, put them just at the end of the road then? Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. That's pretty much the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, so he can do that. Although I don't know if that's a problem if people are trying to turn here. Oh well. Just blow this up. Blow this up. And, um, oh, that's a wrong one. Yeah, I guess I have to do something like this. then it's still gonna back up the traffic here so I don't understand how many can load here and I'm gonna need like way more because I have 185 tons of stone here and you carry 30 so this is gonna take you like six seven more trips that's not gonna cut it this is highly inconvenient Like, will you? Will this block? Because then I can only have like max two loading here. Do you think t two would fit into a tile? Maybe two is all I need. Are you stone? You are stone. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more than two. Okay, I'm gonna pause and when I know what the hell to do, I'll bring you back and close up the episode. Okay, so they're not completely stupid. They do block off like the access, but they will go, if they're going into like a row of stations, they will go for the further station. So it 
presumably someone can back in behind them and unload. Let's actually check if that's the case. Hopefully these will back into one single street here. So he should stop in the front and then this guy should stop behind and they should both... Don't go left. Yeah, bloody bugger. Okay, so can you deliver this? Yes. Good. I like how this is costing me money to ferry this stuff to the to the lime kiln. Okay, and then we're just gonna do something gross here. Ugh. This is facing the right way. So, oh, that's dumb. I don't want that. So we'll do that and um, yeah, I'll do this just off camera. So I'll just have one thing going back and forth here. Oh, wow. I hope that wasn't a very long episode, but it probably was. So I apologize. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.